What's going on there, folks? Good evening. Earthmaster here checking in on this Friday evening, 9.41 p.m., June 11th, 2021 uh, is the date. And we got some significant earthquake uh, uptick activity in Southern California, right smack dab at the southern end of the San Andreas Fault System uh, station that I monitor there in Southern California uh, called Barrett, which is a BHZ station going to be this one right here picking up the most recent earthquake that's taken place out there on the globe and that is coming from a 4.1 magnitude quake that just struck there now we've been watching this area over the past few days or so um well about a week now they've had significant swarming activity uh in this region it was taking a little break was calming down for just a short time uh, but now tonight looks like it's really really starting to ramp up here uh, let's see here on this map, um, we'll zoom in here to this area uh, from the Caltech website. You can see quite the significant amount of earthquake activity ramping up just within the last hour or so. This is definitely some heightened movement. Let's check it out here on the USGS map of the all magnitudes and we can get a better idea. Of course, uh, Missy Mimi's did cover this a little bit earlier. California West Coast on an earthquake watch at the moment uh, and with this uh, uptick major uptick in earthquake activity uh, that is definitely warranted um, what do we got 41 on the globe on the globe uh, it was a 4.1 now there could be so many earthquakes coming in right now that it's getting all mixed up and and covered up uh, this here is the at least the latest one on this map shows a 3.7. Uh, here just two minutes ago uh, originally that was a 4.1 unless there's so many of them kicking up right now uh, where they're going to be playing catch up Salton Sea Southern California San Andreas fault system we've seen the west coast lighten up today like crazy um, Southern California the big one tonight and all throughout the area uh, into portions of the San Jacinto fault area but this movement right here is very concerning folks because these are not microquakes we're seeing a major influx of uh some light, medium light quakes here uh, up in the upper threes. And you've seen that 4.1 that was on the earthquake 3D globe. Um, so I'm curious to see if they're gonna put that back on there or not. Uh, but uh, looking at this, they did have a, a 4.0, a well, that was quite a few hours ago. Zero four, no, 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 that was a couple four. That was just within the last hour. I keep forgetting the UTC time here. So, Wow, technically just a huge swarm of earthquake activity within the last hour. Um, and of course we had some prior to that as well, but all of this activity in the red, check out that movement. Uh, let me get off that quake there. All these earthquakes within the last hour. These are not microquakes, folks. Lots of threes and fours in there as well. This is a little bit north of the region and i don't know why my fault why the faults disappear when i uh, uh try to zoom in here but this is a little bit north of the area that we were looking at a few days ago here when we seen that uh, what was that 5.3 down here and 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 uh, over a thousand aftershocks uh in that aftershock sequence or swarming earthquake swarm um, I don't believe we are done yet, folks. Here's that 4.6. They just added it on here. So, um, wow. Hold on a second here. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely some uh, major uptick in activity taking place here, folks. i be on guard tonight. Definitely uh, on Earthquake Watch here in Southern California. Uh, these swarms aren't any joke. It's an obvious sign of impending pressure. Uh, and it's right down there, folks. It's right down there, and it's creeping up further towards the San Andreas Fault System. So, you know, you can listen to Lucy Jones and, and have her calm the nerves and whatnot. She's there for the people to, uh, you know, not cause panic. And, of course, I'm not here to cause panic either or fear-mongering. But we're looking at uh, a significant movement right, right, very close to the San Andreas Fault System, which is right here, folks. The sleeping giant one, okay? Uh, a lot of people saying even if there was a moderate or large earthquake in this region, it wouldn't affect the San Andreas Fault. Uh, you know what? That is, throw that out the window. Throw that thought out the window. You have a moderate quake in this region here, just, just within a couple miles of the San Andreas Fault, and you tell me it's not going to do something to it? 
built up pressure over a couple hundred years. I can't remember the exact number, but, uh, you know, be on guard, folks. This is some significant movement taking place out here. Depth of these earthquakes. Check it out. Okay. Anywhere from uh, 1.3, pretty shallow. Um, let's see what else we got here. They're all shallow. They're really shallow. Except for uh, this one here. This one is about 14 kilometers. But the large swarm that we just seen within the last hour is relatively shallow at about 3 kilometers or so. There's a 3.6 uh, 3 and the 4.3 kilometers for those earthquakes. But uh, these are pretty shallow earthquakes taking place here. Um, and it's something to, something to watch, folks. You can see that fault system that it's taken place on called the Brawley Seismic Zone, which is nothing more than an extensional fault system, the San Andreas Fault. Okay, and then that extends down into the Imperial Fault. Uh, Pacific Plate Boundary is what it is. That's exactly what it is. And it's pretty close. Uh, within, uh, at least according to this, I, I don't like how the, uh, um, the fault lines disappear. But looking at this here, we're looking at about two miles or so. Uh, because the, on this map, the fault system, at least according to the USGS, the official named fault ends right smack there on that little area where the water meets the land. So we're looking at maybe two miles two miles folks and the main swarming right here looks like about five miles or so all these threes and fours that are taking place um, in that area of Southern California be on guard folks be on guard I'm not even joking tonight's not uh, a night to play around um, let's go back over the last uh, seven days this might be an overload um, on this region I want to go uh, 4.5 and above there's that 5.3 that took place right uh, back on the fifth so we're looking at uh, over, oh, about six days or, or so ago. What, seven days? Almost a week. Oh, a week. Okay, well, definitely a week is when that uh, 5.3 struck. But look at the amount. And this 4.6 that just struck is a little bit north of there. It's closer, closer to the sleeping giant. Look at the amount of earthquake activity that's taken place in this region. Okay, we did see a little bit of quiet activity yesterday uh, in this area. But today and more recently over the last hour, a significant uptick in earthquake activity um, here in the uh, Salton Sea region. Uh, 1,344 earthquakes uh, since that 5.3 struck a week ago. Some significant movement taking place, folks. Uh, now looking at just the 2.5 and above, that's a pretty good handful of quakes, folks. That's a lot. These are just not microquakes here. 14 earthquakes, uh, largest one so far, 4.6. There's another 4.0. Um, it's This is... This ain't no joke. Something's brewing down there. Something is brewing. And, uh, you know, when it happens, the USGS is going to say, well, we expected that. We expected it because we've been watching it for so long and stress has been built up in this region for so long. We expected that to happen. But then they'll tell you, oh, don't worry about it. It's two miles away from uh, the San Andreas Fault. You know, there's, it's not going to do anything. Even a moderate sized quake's not going to do anything to it. Don't listen to that. Be on guard, folks. Uh, if you got family down there in Southern California, Cathedral City, Palm Desert, anywhere down here, this area, very capable of producing an 8.1 magnitude quake in this vicinity. And uh, it's, it's no joke. There's a lot of stress built up here in the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. Don't believe me? Check it up. Check it out. Anywhere. Google. Whatever you want to use. Uh, the northern sections and the central sections have seen significant movement over the years. It's only this area down here, the southern segment, that has not seen any significant movement in uh, 200 and something years. I can't remember the exact number, but it's the one that we're waiting on. It's the one that my parents told me the big one's going to happen. Is California going to fall off in the ocean? Absolutely not. The plate dyna dynamics, the land, the, the uh, topography is not set up for that. But an 8.1 will do significant damage throughout the Southern California area. Uh, no joke, no joke, folks, be on guard. Uh, we're continuing to monitor this activity, uh, but just wanted to do a quick update on the increase in multitude and magnitudes of these earthquakes taking place here. Uh, watch this map pretty closely uh, as you're gonna see those numbers jump up. I do have a station down there around the Barrett area. Um, that's kind of southwest of there, southwest of uh, the Salton Sea area. But um, it's still 
close enough to be picking up all the earthquake activity there in the Salton Sea. And uh, you're going to see it coming around. Um, it's the very top station that I have here. I monitor a couple different ones, folks, but uh, uh, Barrett stations, uh, one up here on top, you'll see it's coming up right here. Barrett BHC station. These are the earthquakes taking place. It's showing as distant earthquakes. If these were localized, like really close to the seismograph station, these would be spiked, very uh, spiked, but they're kind of drawn out, but still nonetheless registering the earthquake activity. Um, after this update, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find a closer station. Uh, there's many, many stations to monitor. Some I don't have access to. Some, they just, they're inactive, but uh, I can add a couple more stations on onto the Southern California network and uh, see what we can pick up far as closer earthquake activity monitoring goes. But for now, uh, monitor Barrett BHC station uh, for Southern California earthquake activity. Stay safe out there, folks. No joke. Uh, putting this uh, earthquake watch in effect on the screen um, because I believe we're definitely looking at uh, some significant movement here taking place if this continues uh, to migrate to the north. Stay safe, folks. Uh, we'll be monitoring here.